Greetings gentlemen and ladies. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at Kling AI, which is a video generation software for uh, AI, AI software, whatever it is. Here is an example of what it's done with a still image. Uh, we're going to take a look at some other examples here as well. So basically with Kling AI there are a couple of options that we're going to take a look at. There are standard mode, professional mode, uh, there is also a creativity and a relevance slider. We're going to be talking about that in just a minute. But for now let's kick things off just by taking a look at some of the things I've been able to generate with Kling AI. Here's, here's my spoiler right at the beginning of the video. I am impressed. Holy smokes am I ever impressed. This is extremely cool. All right, so faces are one thing, but let's say you want to transform yourself into a power metal rock god. Can you do that with Kling AI? Well, let's take a look here. So here we have the still image that has been uh, applied the prompt playing a guitar solo. Uh, I'm super impressed by it. this is the low resolution version of it. You can see the image is not as clear. That's the difference between standard and professional mode. You can try Kling AI for free in standard mode. Uh, professional mode is a paid upgrade but let's take a closer look if you look at, like closely at some of these details here you can see little nuances like the the pendants the necklaces are actually moving uh, you can see some finger finger movements going on on the guitar the hair is uh, blowing in the wind there is like flapping of the fabric there is obviously flame in the background I am just incredibly impressed how it's been able to pick up all of these details and turn this into coherent video. Here is the same version, the same image, but this one has been run through professional mode. Now what I noticed about this one is that it didn't particularly pick up the face quite as well. It kind of changes the face midway through, but also the source image is looking down, so it has a harder time probably picking up on what the face actually is. The fingers look pretty good. Um, we do still have the fabric moving. We have a bit of a clearer looking image and uh, overall, yeah, I'm pretty pretty impressed still. So then I ran through uh, this one here. This one is uh, tried to turn myself into a wizard. Eyes glowing with magical energy. This is the low resolution version uh, and it has yeah, done some cool stuff. I mean, it's done a nice job. This is, like I say, the low resolution version. Uh, the eyes did not glow with magical energy, but that's okay. Then I thought it'd be cool to run through uh, this metal metal heart metal uh, metal succubus of hell uh, playing a guitar. This is a low resolution version from our source image, which you can see over. Well, you can see it over here in the little corner there. Uh, here's our our final video uh, of our guitar succubus in hell playing some power metal. I tried that also in the high resolution professional mode version. Let's take a look at that. Uh, what I have noticed about Kling is that for human models, I think it does a pretty good job because it's probably got a bone structure uh, placed into how to animate a character which is humanoid. I also tried to do a wolf, a werewolf. Uh, the prompt was werewolf snarling and uh, it, it seemed to sort of maybe get a little bit confused because we get a little bit of facial movement at the end but otherwise it just sort of panned the camera and I'm going to try a couple more of this, a couple more of these as we go on. And then of course the original uh, image here that I showed you at the beginning of the video in low resolution. Oh no, sorry, that's not low resolution. There's, there's low resolution right there, which is still pretty good actually. Like look at the look at the detail, look at the face, look at the wrinkles, look at the wind gently blowing the hair. That's cool. And hit, there's the high resolution version of the same one. The prompt here is smiling and winking playfully. So of course with Kling you can direct what the image is actually supposed to do. But holy smokes, that's good. This is also low resolution. But I think the difference here between this one. Oh yeah, no, here we go. So the difference between this one here, sorry, this this one here and this one here is that this one here has dialed up the relevant slider, right? So the prompt is smiley winking, smiling and winking playfully with relevance slid all the way up to one. Uh, the other option is down here with the creativity slider all the way over to the left. And you can see with the creativity slider, uh, Kling does some, well, more different things, like the head's moving around a lot more. There's kind of more variation going on. So it's kind of taking some uh, creative liberty, hence I suppose the term creative. 
Uh, and then of course we're up to here with the uh, high resolution version. Now this one here is as high level relevance in high resolution professional mode. And there we have, there we have what we have. It's, except for the eyes, which which have a little bit of that reptilian glint. You know, when, when the AI model blinks, they get that reptilian glint in the pupils. Um, that This is hard to distinguish between real life and, uh, and AI generated. So a quick look at some of the pricing plans of Kling. This is what we're looking at here. If you go for a year, a quarter, half month, or by the month. I just signed up for this $10 uh, per month plan. I haven't tried the quality enhancements of image features. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I just wanted to try it out a little bit to start. The pricing is $10 per month, and you get 600 credits for that. Uh, and for 600 credits, you can generate, let's see here, you can generate in standard mode. Standard mode costs 10 credits per five second standard mode video. Professional mode costs 35 credits per five second video. So it's not incredibly expensive. It's not incredibly cheap. I have a feeling that uh, once, if you were to upgrade to higher tiers of plan, you would start and, and subscribe for like a year, for example, you could get 3,000 credits a month for the price of uh, what would be $25 a month, which is getting not too bad. 3,000 credits per month would be quite quite a lot, quite a lot to work with. So the pricing is not too bad here on Kling. Let's take a look at some other images uh, and see what kind of interesting results we can get. All right, in this next one, same starting image, metal guitar rock god, but I've added some demons into the background. I've noticed that Kling seems to get a little bit confused when it's dealing with multiple characters. Uh, here we got uh, DJ AI art, DJ doing a DJ set. That actually came out pretty cool. It preserved the art style. And uh, yeah, that actually came out pretty cool. I was curious what would happen in regards to like a bunch of people dancing on a dance floor. Could it do that? So the starting image was basically what you see at the first frame here. And then we got something like, these are all the low resolution versions, by the way, that we're looking at because I didn't have enough credits to uh, get all the high resolution versions. Uh, here's a lips, uh, here's actually, what was the prompt here? Singing. The prompt was singing standard mode and I uh, wanted to see what would happen on this particular <laughs> still image. Uh, it's kind of interesting, uh, kind of weird, but kind of interesting. Uh, on this one here, uh, I was curious if it could, if we could get uh, like riding on horseback. That was the prompt. Woman riding horse. So let's see what we got here. I think it got confused, actually. We'll give that a bit of a look. It uh, has sort of moved the horse, like the scene in the camera, but, and the horse ears do seem to get some motion. The woman's eyes have gotten a bit weird and out of place, and it's kind of just created a bit of a motion tween with a little bit of movement. I don't know if it knows what the skeleton of a horse looks like, or maybe it's just having trouble recognizing the image. Uh, on this one here, um, the prompt was wizard casting magic spell. I think it got a bit confused. You can see a little bit of the lightning is animating, which is pretty cool. But um, the face went a bit weird. I think it got a little bit confused because it was doing effects and facial at the same time. Uh, here I was actually curious what would happen with a real image. All of, all of these have been AI generated art and they've been getting pretty good results. But this one here is actually a real image uh, and I wanted to see what happened. The uh, prompt is nodding and smiling in standard mode with creativity over to re relevance. Um, not bad, kind of uncanny valley, but certainly interesting. You can see I'm in the dune buggy and it looks like I'm driving in the background there, you can see some movement going on. So it's kind of recognized that I'm in a car, which is cool. It's kind of crazy. And the hair is moving. Uh, for this one here, we've got uh, another standard mode. Uh, the original source starting image, uh, basically that. It's a little bit low res, but it's uh, you know firefighter rescuing some kittens from, from a burning building. And we get what I would call fairly realistic movement look at like from the cat so it seems to have recognized that we've got cats there um the facial features on the uh on the human uh, get kind of weird but the fire in the background has smoke billowing out the chimney that's pretty good i like that billowing smoke that's pretty good i was curious in this case now what would happen if we put in a 
uh, illustrated character and basically the prompt was a small owl like creature this is an image that i started with by the way but i wanted to help it along so i said it was a small owl like creature looking into the horizon and flapping its wings uh, we got a little bit of wing movement, and it did try to find where the character has arms and legs, kind of applying, I think, a humanoid rig to the character. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting result. It's a little weird, but interesting. In this case here, I was curious what would happen if I took the same photo and used professional mode. And uh, in this case, we've got actually a lot clearer images. The eyes are still a bit weird. The fire looks very good in the background the uh the smile is definitely a you know a little bit off-putting uh unsettling but i th i think if i think if one were to start with an image that had a little bit of a smile to start it would be better than starting with a totally uh, neutral neutral expression on the face so there's the starting image right there uh this one here i made this little robot dog and uh, the, the prompt was excited puppy. And actually it did a good job. It recognized where the legs were on the puppy. It recognized the uh, puppy's mouth. It opened it up, put the little puppy tongue out. That's pretty good. It definitely recognized what a dog was, even though it was a robot dog. So that's that came out pretty cool. This one here, I was curious what would happen if you just put in like a, a nature scene. Um, <clears throat> and we got a bit of a zoom through. We got some motion going on in the stream. No, nothing much going on in the trees. Uh, I didn't give it much of a prompt. I just said a beautiful nature scene. So maybe if I said to add wind and stuff like that, it would have been better. In this next one, I was curious what would happen if we took us a, a source starting image of, um, of, of a bunch of different people. And we basically said, in this case, happy women smiling. This is low resolution, of course. Um, but I think considering that the starting image is also AI generated without perfect clarity on the faces. And this is the low resolution version. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I should, I'd be curious actually to try upscaling that. I think we'll do that whilst we're looking through. We'll try and upscale on that. I'm curious what we get. So let's see what else we got. I was, oh, here's the thing. There's so many interesting applications that you could use this for. So one of my side businesses is a crystal e-commerce shop. And so I'm always trying to think of interesting ways to create ads for, you know, Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising. So we took this still image of a woman generated by Midjourney with some crystals and uh, we turned that into, well, some energy coming out of crystals. I think that's kind of eye catching that, you know, could be the sort of ad creative that people just haven't really seen much of. Right. Because it's so. You know, normally to do something like this would require a lot of work in like Unreal Engine or, you know, a special effects software, whatever. Oh, here we got, here we got uh, a starting image of just like a girl dancing in a nightclub. I also work on some music, so I was curious if I could get some sort of like background footage of people dancing in a nightclub. This one is standard mode uh, and uh, so it's not high resolution, uh, but I think it came out pretty good it's got the people in the background they're coherent enough they're you know basically f staying true to their body shape and form like there's nothing too weird happening that i can see and then we've got this one here i wanted to try a couple versions of this because we've got multiple people and this time this is again standard resolution but it's yeah adhering like you can see the limbs and the hands and everything like that's kind of sticking together and then i did a higher resolution version of the same because I wanted to see, you know, just how good it could get. Um, I think the girl is, mm, yeah, no, yeah, her arm has gone a little bit wonky there on, on the right. But I think maybe if you started with an image that showed where both arms were supposed to be, it would have an easier time figuring out what to do next, because it, it starts without showing like that arm. But those background characters, they look good. Here we've got just like a, a female knight character. I, I think the prompt was uh, <clears throat> staring intensely, wind blowing in the hair and yeah i mean it did some interesting stuff there that was, this was the starting image for that one um this is of course low resolution again i wanted to see if i could bring a knight this is knight getting into a combat stance with a starting image from mid journey that just looks like that 
Uh, it didn't really figure out what to do with the knight. It just kind of made him slightly shuffle around. I tried that a couple of times. Also, I have this cute little robot character. I was thinking, what, what would happen if I made this little guy stare at the camera and, and do some blinking and some smiling? And it seems like Kling had trouble recognizing where the limbs were and what the eyes were supposed to be. I tried this one again. It said, cute little robot hopping as the prompt. And this time it did actually find where the limbs were and it kind of shook them around a bit. So a little bit of weirdness going on the legs back there. And it didn't seem to really do much with the eyes. I'm not sure if it recognized the eyes. Uh, this one here is just like a cool retro kind of cover art, which has a character, you know, silhouetted. And what it did is it transformed that silhouetted character into what I'm assuming is the human skeleton and then applied some assumptive uh, human features to what was an art piece. So it didn't really understand that this was like meant to be an illustration and it kind of tried to turn it into a human best as it could. Uh, interesting. Uh, here's another one of the same idea where I took a starting image which was just like a sort of a crystal energy working or just like an energy working uh, and it uh, it didn't it did a pretty cool job of actually you can see how the lighting effects apply on the skin and uh, yeah it actually is kind of it's weird how it moves but it's also kind of interesting uh, and then we have this one here where I just said crystal energy this one I think is one of my favorites actually so it starts again with this just a cool image from mid journey and it and it turns into this rather mystical looking crystal energy. Now, for any of you into marketing and advertising, this would be a very interesting sort of scroll stopping advertisement uh, potentially. So you can kind of start to think a little bit like about creative application for what could you do with with Kling AI already in regard to, regards to marketing and and whatnot. Uh, here we have a, this one now is in professional mode, so upscaled. Here we have, let's start with the image prompt itself. Here we have a woman walking on the beach in the Caribbean, palm trees, etc. And here we have oh, the actual video, holy smokes. And I did specify there should be waves. I specified there should be wind in the prompt. The palm tree is doing some weird stuff up there, but not too bad. The actual motion of the woman and the hair and the fact that she gets a little further away from the starting point of the frame and her body kind of stays coherent. That's pretty good. That's cool. All right, so here we've got our upscaled multiple person one. Again, this is the professional mode. And let's see what happens when we get into that professional mode. Um, I mean, shoot, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, there's some weirdness that happens to the face over here. And some of the, some of the faces faces get a little bit melty, but um, not bad, not bad at all. Anyways, gentlemen and ladies, this has been a look at Kling AI. Well, of course, put links in the description of this video to uh, any any tools used whenever I create a new video on AI tools. I'll always have the links in the description. I hope you have enjoyed it, and uh, see you in the next one. All right.